hello everyone welcome back to another video on track concepts and in this video i will be solving a complex sql query and i will be showing step by step how you can convert any complex query into simpler parts and solve it much more efficiently so let's begin with the video so the query is this find the change in employees leaving a firm each year now what this means is you need to find every year if the number of employees that are leaving is increasing or decreasing or if it's not changing at all what that means is this is our this is our table employees which has employee id it has started when the employee has started working in the particular firm and end date is when that particular employee has left the firm and salary is salary so the output needs to be something like this for example in 2019 has there been any change in the number of employees leaving the firm so in 2019 the number of employees leaving leaving the firm has increased from the previous year so we need to compare it with the last year if you see 2020 the number of employees that have left the firm is 2 and the number of employees that left in the previous year that is 2019 is also 2 which means there is no change so our output should be no change for 2021 the number of employees that left the firm is 1 and for the previous year 2020 it was 2 so the number has decreased hence the output should show decrease for 2022 the number of employees that left the firm is just one and that was or that was in 2021 as well hence the output should be no change so this is a requirement before i dive into solving this query i would suggest pause the video and try to solve this query on your own once you are done and even if you're not able to solve it that's okay just come back to the video and see the entire process how i am dividing the query into smaller parts and getting the required answer so pause the video and come back let's begin with dividing the question into simpler parts now if you see the output we need the year in which the employees are leaving that is our column end date so we just need to look into this and then we just need the number of employees that are leaving the number of employees number means count so we need to use count function and we do not really need any specific other column we can simply just find out the output using the column end date because we just need to count based on these if you want to find the number of employees that left the firm in a particular year say 2019 2020 2021 2022 you can simply do that by using the count function on the column end date that is it so which means we do not need any other column we just need this column end date we need to find count for the current year and the previous year whenever we need to compare something with the previous value like current year and the previous year or current year or the next year we can use the window function lag and lead whenever you want to compare it with the previous year we can use lag whenever you want to compare anything to the next year we can use lead these are important window functions i have a complete video just on window functions do check it out it's a very small informative video go check it out so the first thing that we figured out is we only need the column end date and we can use count over there and the second thing that we figured out is is we need to find count for the current year and the last year which gave us the clue that we can use lag function so our second step is that we are going to use lag function and the third thing is very easy when you have two values one for the current year and another one for the previous year all you need to do is you need to compare if the previous year was less than the current year which means there has been an increase we just need to do a simple comparison if the current year and the previous year have the same values then it will be no change if the current year has values less than the previous year then there is a decrease and if the previous and current year have the same values then no change so this 
can be found out simply by comparison less than greater than equal to all of that we can use that and find this so this is how i divided the query into simpler parts and now it seems a little easier now let's write the query now i am on the sql editor and this is our table employee which has employee id start date end date salary so our first step is to just get end date and we just need the year of the date if you see the output it just has years we really do not need the month and day so the first step would be to convert end date into year and i will be using cte's just to simplify it you can also use subqueries with cte employee one this will be the first cte where i will be converting it to year well where, where i will be converting the column end date to year select i am using mysql so the function that is used to convert a specific date into just year is year this function can change according to whatever you you're using so if you're using sql server or it will it will change accordingly so make sure you use the function appropriate to whatever you're using and i will give it the name your employee left from employee table also because it is a cte we need to have a select statement over here So this is our output 2021 2019 2020 2022 2019 2020 so these are the years so the first step was to convert your end date to just year the second step is to use lag function to count the number of employees that left in the current year and the previous year as well now i am going to remove select statement another CTE I will be creating over here and I will name it CTE employee 2 as I would write select your employee left and now I will be using count star as number of employees that left in the current year and in the second step i will be using lag function lag count star make sure to watch the video if you do not know what is a lag function lag count star comma one which means just one year previous to it the difference should be just one if i write two over here which means if i am if the current year is 2022 then lag function will return values for 2020 it will count the number of employees in 2020 so this is like an offset so it it can have any values since i have to compare it with the previous year my offset will be one comma i will be writing zero over here uh, the third parameter is for default value over order by and we also need to order it so it will be order by your employee left and I will be giving it a name, number of employees left in the previous year from, now I will not be using values from this table. I will be using values from the previous CTE because the previous CTE has the end date converted to year from CTE employee one. We need to group it group by one which means year and let's run this select star from ct employee 2 and i will be running it and here we got the second part of the output so the number of employees that left in 2019 is 2 number of employees that left in the previous year is zero because we do not have values for the year 2018 hence it is zero for 2020 the number of employees that left is two for the previous year 2019 it is two and that is what 
is written away now half the battle is won now all we need to do is we need to do basic comparison between these two columns so let's do that select star from ct2 ct employee 2 because we need these columns as well comma let's use a case statement because we need to make comparison case when number of employees previous year is if previous year is less than current year then the output should be increase when previous year is greater then decrease else no change we also need to end it end as change and we will calculate these values from cpe employee to also sorry this this needs to be removed because from needs to be here that is our output we got the correct changes so we have the previous year is less than the current year then increase if it's equal then no change and if it's greater than if the previous year has values greater than current then the output should be decrease and that is our output i hope that was clear the best way to solve any complex query is to convert it into smaller parts like we did over here first we converted end day to year and then we counted it and in the third step final step we did a simple comparison in a case statement and we got our output this was pretty easy also instead of using two cts we can use just one ct as well as the first ct is only converting end date to year what we can do is we can just use this function wherever it is being called so i can add it here add it here and we do not need two cts and um, this uh, this will be employee and yes let's run it and we got our output so you can also get the same results by using one ct also let me know in the comment section if you were able to solve this query also if you have any other solution to this query comment down i would be happy to look into it as I already mentioned, instead of CTEs, you can also use subqueries. I used CTEs to just make it simpler and easier to understand. Subqueries can get a little complicated sometimes. I have a playlist on my channel which is dedicated to solving various queries, complex queries, beginner level queries. Go check it out. I am pretty sure that will be helpful to you. Also, go check out our sql ebook we have gotten a great response on the sql ebook go check it out i will link it in the description box and also comment it in the comment section go check it out for yourself and yeah check out all the playlists subscribe to the channel make sure you click on the notification button so that you never miss any videos on the channel also go check out shorts i have uploaded a few in the last week go check it out with that, I will end the video. Like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.